Hey everyone, Sarah Barnes Humphrey here of Let's Talk Supply Chain at the Forkites Visibility Conference in Chicago and with me right now is Anil. Anil, welcome. Thank you, Sarah. Great to be here. Yes, tell everybody who you are and what you do. Yeah, so uh, my name is uh, Anil Khanna. I'm with Daimler Truck North America, which is part of the bigger Daimler Truck AG organization. Uh, I am based in Portland, Oregon. I am responsible for connectivity products and services worldwide for North America specifically, but I also have a product strategy role that spans the entire Daimler uh, conglomerate worldwide. Great. Well, the theme here is connected. Yes. <laughs> so let's start with that because that's even in your title. Exactly. What does the word connected mean to you? So uh, many things, right? I mean, uh, Matt uh, talked about that as well. Um, but from me specifically, if you talk to me in terms of my profession, it's about, um, you know, just getting a little deeper, it's about connectivity. It's about telematics specifically. So taking our trucks and making them smarter, you know, putting the right technology in there so the trucks can then communicate back to us. Mm -hmm. You know, when we, when we sell our trucks from an OEM's perspective, I am always proud to say that my team is the team that keeps its pulse on the truck. We mm -hmm. know exactly what the truck is doing, how well it's doing. So there's a lot of data coming, especially the modern truck is so right. uh, you know, uh, digitalized. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very exciting. We, we take all of that data, we develop insights, we develop services for the benefit of our customers, our fleets, mm -hmm. and of course the broader ecosystem. Maintenance, state safety. Oh, a lot. Safety, maintenance, exactly. Right. All of that stuff. I mean, our core services, if I were to break it down, would be exactly that vehicle health which would be maintenance, mm -hmm. then um, safety, and then anything around trying to minimize unplanned downtime. We all know downtime is extremely expensive yes, uh, it is. for our customers, so we leverage technology uh, to reduce downtime, not only to, um, to get visibility into the downtime first, but also to see how can we fix that Mm -hmm. ideally without bringing the truck in into the service center so over the air updates and things like that amazing so you were on stage earlier today um, give us a high level overview of what you spoke about what were some of the key insights and messages that you shared yeah. with the audience today yeah i think i was probably the odd man out in the conference i, I <laughs> <laughs> because I, I i mean it's been a great learning experience for me i've i've seen and i've uh, you know talked to a lot of supply chain experts I'm an OEM, you know, I represent the OEM, the truck maker, and I don't think there's a lot many of those here. Uh, so first of all, uh, you know, obviously I gave them an overview of what Daimler truck is, what we mm -hmm. do, and then also made them aware of the transformation happening in the industry, because that's uh, transmission is not only happening in the supply chain side, great stuff there, but also on the OEM side. The trucks that we build um, are not just mechanical devices transporting goods from A to B. There's a lot of software in there. Uh, so really mm -hmm. talking about what that digital platform, this moving IoT digital platform is. And then uh, the second part of my talk was uh, a little bit about sustainability, what Daimler is doing to invest in the uh, sustainability area, electric vehicles, uh, mm -hmm. hydrogen fuel cell. And then tying it all together, uh, all of this, how does this data, this intelligence, how can this be of value? To the yeah. supply chain. So let's talk about that. Talk to us about the value that um, you know trucks integrating with supply chain ecosystems. What is real today? What is that going to look like in the future? You mentioned autonomous vehicles. Mm -hmm. I yep. read an article just recently that you know they're going to be on the road as as soon as maybe next year. Yeah. So. Let's, let's just break it down to, let's say, three time horizons, right? What is real today and what is real soon and maybe a little bit longer term. Mm -hmm. So what is real today? And historically, this is the data point that the supply chain relies on, which is mostly revolving around geospatial intelligence, right? Okay. It's all about GPS, which is fine. I think people have milked that cow a lot. <laughs> it's always good to know where the truck is, but I think now we are ready to take the second step. So the contextual, um, you know, uh, information about the truck as in not only where it is, but also what environment is it operating under? Mm -hmm. What is its state of fuel? Uh, like we talked earlier, what is its health, yeah. right? Um, and then when you throw in battery electric vehicle into it, then there's a new dimension about the state of charge, mm -hmm. right? Does it have enough charge to complete its trip? If oh, it yeah. cannot, then uh, is there a charging station on the way? So yeah. having that input into your routing and dispatch, so, so I think I kind of combined the first and second horizon here. So that's where geospatial was the first, GPS great, now we're looking into health, safety, all of, and then if you look at further longer term, 
then we start to talk about autonomous, right? Then the mm -hmm. trucks become a self, uh, you know, a, a self-fulfilling kind of a engine that they can make the decisions, they can fix themselves. So a lot of innovation happening in that state as well. That will obviously ultimately benefit all of us, you know, into having a very robust supply chain. Yeah, and you make a really great point. I never really thought about charging stations for trucks, but you have to have enough electricity and enough exactly. of them along the way, especially if it's a long haul. Absolutely. Um, are there enough charging stations now, or is that something we still have to work on? Oh, we have a lot of work to do. Okay. <laughs> yes, so I'll be upfront and say, I mean, a lot of people are doing stuff, including Daimler, of course, mm -hmm. uh, but we are just starting to, you know, scratch that surface, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Absolutely. Great. So talk to us about real-time visibility. How yeah. does that fit into Daimler's uh, vision for a connected supply chain? What does that look like? Yeah, I think we hinted at this. The 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 geospatial intelligence, you know, not just the GPS location, but also being aware of where it is in terms of its destination, in yeah. terms of the closest service center, the closest dealership, Maybe the traffic? closest charging station environment. Yeah, okay. traffic, mm -hmm. weather that mm -hmm. we get a lot. Um, we also get a lot about, you know, all of this is, I mean, even the gradient of the, of the, you know, at how high or how low it is, and okay. all of that information is obviously being used by our what we call our uh, predictive analytics engine in the mm -hmm. truck. But if we take a step back and see, okay, how much of this, either at the raw data level or even process data, can then be utilized by the supply chain and mm -hmm. really enhance your level of awareness of the truck. Right. You know, idle times, you know, fuel efficiency, all of that matters, and it ties very well into what Matt was saying earlier on that decision mm -hmm. platform that they're building here. Amazing. So we talked about what's happening now. We talked about what's happening in the future. When you think about supply chain professionals, thinking about their supply chains now and in the future, yeah. what advice would you give them? What questions should they be asking themselves, especially yeah. with some of this new technology coming out? Maybe they own assets. Maybe they don't. Yes. Should they be investing in this technology? 100%. I think that's a, that's a great question. One, obviously, I'm going to make a plug for, for the OEM themselves. Of I'll course. say that don't, <laughs> you know, um, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm the odd man out in this conference, but I'm so glad I made it. Uh, there is a lot of innovation happening in the trucking side, the manufacturing yeah. side. I, if you are a supply chain um, uh, professional, I would say great in your ecosystem, but do not hesitate to reach out to us. Talk okay. to your truck makers, talk to your fleets. Um, you know, um, there's a lot of value available there as well. Mm -hmm. We are also working uh, openly, uh, you know, in my talk I mentioned that partnerships are a key component of yeah. our strategy. It's not, we, we understand, we know our trucks best, but we also know that we don't know everything and, mm -hmm. we're, and we may not have the competency to, do, competency to do everything. So we are very open to having these partnerships and really, really very open to gathering feedback. So if you're mm -hmm. a supply chain professional, if you have great ideas, if you have thoughts, questions, please reach out. Uh, to your to your uh, OEM, hopefully that's us, Daimler Truck. Yeah. yeah, so that's a really great point because we talk about how important data is, real-time visibility, but also we need to talk more about the exchange of information, exactly. right? The partnership, the collaboration, opening that dialogue yes. so that you know we can all learn from each other and we can move the industry forward. 100%. I think if I take visibility uh, and, and openness and communication, I talked about trust. Mm -hmm. I think people, you know, people are always guarded, especially in this yeah. in this space when we talk data. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of regulations around data, yes. who owns the data, who can see the data. Mm -hmm. So I think we have to be cognizant of that, but we also have to have an open mind. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can, only through collaboration can we make the best solutions for our customers. Yeah. And stay connected. Well, yes. thank you so much, thank Anil, you, for joining me here at Forkites Visibility in Chicago. Thank you.